going to mix blanc and canvas. So this is more of a nude, this is more of a nude, um, canvas is more of a nude, um, what am I trying to say? <laughs> I'm just taking this highlighter on my M, I'm just taking this Essence highlighter on my more, <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. For today's video, we are trying out some new products that I hauled in my last video. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below so you guys can check it out. But I am so excited to show you guys how the products work, what I think about it, and yeah, this is, I think this is my first time doing this kind of video, so I'm excited to see how it turns out. I hope you guys are too. And if you guys want to see my thoughts on these new products and also how to get this look right here, then just keep on watching. Okay, first things first, we are starting with an eye primer. Um, this is the Lorac. Uh, behind the scenes eyewear primer. Um, this comes with all of their um, pro eyeshadow palettes and in my opinion this is a pretty good eye primer. Um, I have extremely oily lids so it's important for me to use um, a good eye base so that way my eyeshadow stays on all day and I don't have to worry about it coming off so um, I'm just going to apply this primer all over the lid, all the way up to the brow bone. Moving on to the eyeshadows, I'm using my Lorac Pro 3 palette. I am so excited to use this. Um, I've been holding off on using this because I wanted to use it in um, a new product video. so. Here we are. If you watch my haul video, um, you know how much I love Lorac products, especially their shadows. They're super, super easy to work with. I'm gonna try to do um, a chocolatey, smoky eye, um, but kind of keep it neutral so that way we can um, play around with some lipsticks later on. I'm going to start off by setting that base that we just put down, and I'm going to mix Blanc and Canvas. Canvas is more of a nude color and Blanc is a stark white and with my skin tone Putting down a stark white shadow all over my lid looks kind of weird So that's why I want to kind of mix it with a darker color and I'm just going to Set The crease and all the way up to the brow bone. I'm just gonna set the crease and the brow bone just so um, it's a little bit easier for us to blend the transition shades. Next, we're going to use a big fluffy blending brush to lay down our first transition color. Let's try um, using terracotta. It's this beautiful terracotta um, transition shade. And I'm using light circular motions and windshield wiper motions as always to really diffuse the color in the crease and as you can see it's blending out effortlessly and it doesn't look patchy it's just going on nice and smooth after we have that first color blended out in the crease we are going to go in with a second transition shade and i'm going to use the color clay right here and it's a nice medium tone neutral brown and this is just gonna slightly deepen up the crease a little bit and i'm placing this color right below that terracotta color Okay, and then after we have clay blended out in the crease as well, 
I'm gonna go in with a clean blending brush and I'm just going to blend out the edges to make sure we don't have any harsh lines. And I'm using my Sigma E40 brush to do that. And when you're blending out the edges, you just wanna make sure you're using a very light hand. You also wanna make sure it's a clean brush so that way you're not really muddying up the colors and you're keeping everything nice and separated. Okay, next I'm going in with dark brown from the palette, and I'm going to use this to smoke out the look a little bit more and to give the look a little bit more definition. And I'm using my Zoeva Luxe Petite Crease Brush, um, and I'm going to put this um, at the very bottom of my crease and just wiggle the brush back and forth ever so slightly. And then once I have the most of the product down where I want it, I'm going to drag it into the rest of my crease. I'm using a very light hand and small circular motions and really blending that color out. And it doesn't look like a lot now, but we're going to keep adding color um, so that way we get a nice blended look. Okay, after we have everything smoked out in the crease and we built up that dark brown color, we are going to put on the lid color. We are going to use dark mocha. I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk number 110 brush and this is just a flat concealer brush. Actually going to spray, pick up some of that color on the brush and spray it with some Mac Fix Plus just to um, intensify the color a little bit more. Okay, next I'm going to apply some concealer. This is new. This is the Milani Retouch and Erase light lifting concealer in the color light medium I haven't used it yet on my eyes so let's just see how it works I'm going to use my real techniques uh, contour brush and just top that out Okay, that definitely brightened my under eye. But I think the whole point of this concealer is to really brighten and give the eye a nice lifting effect, which I think it definitely does, but it's definitely a sheer consistency and it's not really going to hide all of the darkness um, underneath your eye. I did a pretty good job, but um, it's not a tart shape tape concealer. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Okay, so I like the concealer. Um, it blended out really nice. Creases very easily, so um, I'm gonna have to go in right away and set it so we don't look like a hot mess under there. I'm going to use my new Essence um, Shape Your Face Contouring Palette and I'm excited to use this. It comes with a contour shade, a setting powder shade, and then also a really pretty blush. I'm just gonna tap out the creases that are kind of there and just set it immediately. And that powder is actually really, really nice. Now the ultimate test is if it's gonna have a flashback, which I hope it doesn't. And then next I'm going to use my Japanesque Kumidori brush and I'm going to dip it into this um, really pretty contour shade right here. That's a really nice color. It kind of reminds me of um, Benefit Hula. 
moving on, I'm using uh, another new product, the NYX Away We Glow Liquid Highlighter in the color Daytime Halo. And I'm just going to apply this on the tops of my cheekbones before we put on a powder highlight. And I'm just gonna do like three dots right there. And I'm just gonna tap it out with my ring finger. Holy crap, that is so pretty. And actually it's going, it's blending out pretty nicely on top of the powders that we already put down. Let's do a little bit more. And the next new product that we're going to use is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I'm so excited to use this. I'm going to take this Essence Highlighter on my Morphe M501 brush and just apply it to the tops of the cheekbone. That is so pretty. Okay, so let's finish up the eye look. Um, we are going to go back into that Lorac Pro 3 palette and go back into that almond pearl color right here that we used to highlight the brow bone. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques detailer brush to highlight the inner corners. Okay, and for the lower lash line, we're not gonna go too crazy. I'm just gonna use um, a little bit of clay, which is this medium tone brown right here. And I'm going to kind of do a light wash of this on my lower lash line. I'm going to use dark brown again in the very outer corner. just to smoke everything out. Wow, I just realized that I was talking and not recording, so that was great. I am going to apply these lashes off camera because you guys have seen me apply lashes a million times. Um, these are the Vlogger Series Lashes by Ilore in the style Crazy Ray Ray. For lip color, we are going to use Wet n Wild's new liquid lipsticks. They are the Megalass Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Lipsticks. <laughs> That's a mouthful. It's called Give Me Mocha. And we are just going to apply it to the lips. Okay, and to finish up the look, I am going to use this new setting spray from Milani, and it's called Make It Last, Make It Last Setting Spray. It's a prime plus corrector plus setting spray. And it says 16 hour wear. Oh, whoa. The sprayer on this is not very good. <laughs> Um, parts of my face got super soaked and then other parts like didn't get set at all. Um, it kind of just like squirts out in like different directions and I don't like the spray on this. The setting spray uh, seems to be pretty good. The, the smell of it is really nice. I'm not a huge fan of the actual um, sprayer. It's just not good at all. Okay guys, so that was fun. Overall, um, I had a lot of fun doing this, trying out new products and seeing how they work and giving you guys my first impressions. Star of the show was the Lorac Pro 3 palette. You can't go wrong with Lorac shadows. I mean, they're just some of the best on the market as far as shadows go. The, pro the product that surprised me the most was 
this palette by um, Essence. It's the Shape Your Face Contour Palette. The contour shade and the setting powder shade so good. Um, the contour shade reminds me of Hoola Bronzer and then the um, setting powder is just very smooth. It kind of smooths out the under eye um, and just kind of makes it look very flawless. For the price, this is a go for me. I love this so much. I had so much fun doing this video and filming it. It took me forever to film it, but um, we made it through. If, uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you like, if you've tried any of these products and you know had a different experience with it. I would also like to know that you haven't subscribed already to my channel please show me some love and hit that subscribe button right below my name it's that big red button you can't miss it and until next time guys i will see you guys in my next video bye guys